My vibe is very fun and can be a little bougie. If you can't handle the sharpness, don't stay in the kitchen. My style of cooking is Caribbean West Indian, a little bit of soul food. It's definitely casual, rustic, and at times can be very refined. With my food truck, Island saw it. I get to share my culture, my heritage. Hope everyone's hungry. My first time applying for CHOP was October 28th of 2011. I have been waiting 12 years to do this. So watch out because it's my time. <laughs> wow, that looks, yeah, that looks wonderful. Yeah. So we never chopped her from good yet. No, friend <laughs> of the show. Now CHOP contestant, Chef Michaela Baggett of Island Soul is hey. with us this morning. Chef K would like to call yeah, you. Yes. Good morning. Hey, this was so great. So you were on Ooh. TV um, last yep. night. Yep, definitely was. Um, it's been a long journey. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do this for 12 years. Wow. And to think that I actually got on the show and as far as I did, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. Now what other show can I get on? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Tournament of Champions, right? Just keep going. <laughs> might, might do be Bobby Flay next, but we'll okay. see. Okay. So, okay. so tell us a little bit just about uh, the perseverance that it took for you <laughs> starting 12 years ago and finally to get here. What, what kept you going? What fueled that fire? So the first time that I applied, it was just after I competed um, in the Taste of the Caribbean culinary competition um, in Miami. So that's where I was, you know, gold medal for junior chef of the year. Mm -hmm. The team got gold. And it was literally the first year I actually started liking to cook. Not loving it yet, I just started to like. The com competition from that year kind of like started the field. I was like, ooh, I'm good enough to compete and I got <laughs> gold. Mm -hmm. Now what else can I do? Yeah. So I wasn't, the first application was for amateur chef. I was like, I know I'm not like, Bobby Flay or, you know, nothing spectacular. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to get on CHOP because I love watching Food Network mm -hmm. and do that amateur thing. So October 28, 2011, I put in that first application. <laughs> October 29, 2011, I put in the second <laughs> application. And I act literally kept doing it every day. And then so, like, after a while, I'm like, they're probably sick and tired of seeing my name pop up. <laughs> Let's do it once a month. Uh -huh. So I did it once a month for, like, the rest of 2011 and then 2012. Wow. Then I had a pause because I started culinary school in 2012, um, but then I, re, you know, resumed again, mm -hmm. and I just kept putting, if it's not one a month, it's like once every month there's an application uh -huh. going in. Um, I stopped for like a year or two in between because I started working and mm -hmm. so forth, but I just kept going. I'm like, yeah. there's for some reason, I keep telling my friends and my family, oh, I'm getting on chop. I don't care how long <laughs> it takes, I'm getting on chop. Yeah. Wow. And so when I started the food truck, somebody, they're like, you should, you, have you been applying for chop? Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, no. But then I thought, I should be. Mm -hmm. So again, I started again. Yeah. And then I just kept applying and kept applying. And then when I finally got the call, I was like, <laughs> is this is, real? Is, is this it? Is, is, is it the time? <laughs> so yeah, just imagine. A lot of people don't even take a year hmm. to, you know, just keep going. But for 12, 12 years, long years. Perseverance. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, sure. perseverance well, is key. We've had her food, and <laughs> yeah. it's amazing. Uh -huh. So I am not surprised that you <laughs> got on this show. Now, I love Food Network, too. I like watching all the shows. Mm -hmm. And I, I was telling Stephen yesterday, I'm like, I can't wait to hear about all the behind she, the scenes. She wants to know the behind the scenes Ooh. stuff. Like. So with Chop, though, you're up against, what, three other people? Yes, yes. And there are different rounds, and you one person gets Chop from each mm -hmm. round. And and then you have judges. Who were your judges? Um, I had Marcus Simonson. Um, the third judge, I can never remember her name, but I also had Manit. Manit. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are like they're all amazing. Surprisingly, 12 years in 2011 in November, I met Marcus Simonson. Oh, wow. At um, a food and wine festival in Barbados. Okay. So. 12 years later, I'm finally on CHOP. He's one of my judges. I kept telling myself, oh, there is no way that I'm, <laughs> I'm not, not meant win, to yeah. be here. There's so no cool. way. So for folks who didn't get a chance to watch the show mm -hmm. last night, mm -hmm. uh, walk us through uh, what happened What'd when it comes make? to you. What did you make? <laughs> okay, so it was definitely a very long day. Mm -hmm. um, been on set from like 7 a.m. Didn't get off to like 10 p.m. Wow. So if you want to be in showbiz, just know it's very long. Yeah. Long process. So, um, in my head, I had 
I had like a, this, this menu plan. Mm -hmm. I had like, this is what I'm going to do because I expected the kitchen to have certain ingredients. I'm right. like, it's a chopped kitchen. They have that's to have everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. No, false. That's, okay. that's I, that, and that is one of the things yeah. that I wondered no. as well. They just have, they have the standard ingredients, okay. the flour, sugar. Um, you might find one or two um, exotic stuff in there, okay. but don't expect lavish mm -hmm. or like what you see on Iron Chef where okay. the octopus okay. is a, yeah no. not no. on chop not okay. not on chop so when I went in and I saw the kitchen every single thing that was oh, up no. here gone <laughs> it was just gone and I started to freak out cuz I'm like who oh, wait 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 nothing up here is going to work in here mm -hmm. so I'm like I got to think of a game plan but for some reason the awe and the shock of literally just being there uh -huh. It kept me calm. Okay. While a part of me was okay. trying to freak out and it's like, <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get chopped in the first round. What is happening? <laughs> just the thought of, I just kept telling myself, you waited 12 years. Y you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. You'll be fine. Right. You waited 12 years. So the first round, once they popped open the basket, that little, my, my brother called it the sinister laugh <laughs> that I did when I pulled the scotch bonnet peppers up. <laughs> Again, in my head, I was like, that's a Caribbean thing. Yes. Ain't no way that I'm not meant to be here. Right. And there's scotch bonnet and peppers in the first round. I was like, okay, I, I can work with that. Mm -hmm. I seen the duck. The only duck I eat is duck curry. So I'm like, I didn't know what the tea smoked duck was, but I'm like, we gonna work with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So immediately in my head, Johnny Cakes. Because why? Johnny Cake is so simple. You, my grandma used to you know, make this little ingredient and turn it into something. I'm like, stick true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm like, Johnny Cakes it is, and then we all love a good little sandwich. Yeah, we, we love a good little sandwich, okay? <laughs> so that was the first round. I was like, we're going to do a little sandwich with it, because if you were to come to an Island Soul food truck or an Island Soul restaurant, mm -hmm. that is something you will find. Right. Yeah. And the scotch bonnet peppers, they're the mandarin oranges, and like beforehand, you get to actually see the pantry, like when you open it. They let you go, take okay. about two minutes. Okay. Chefs, look at the pantry, okay. gather your thoughts. And I didn't see fresh mangoes, but I saw dried. Here we go. I'm like, it's coming together. It's coming together. So me freaking out in the beginning, like, oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> it all just disappeared. Uh -huh. yeah. It disappeared. And then I was like, okay, we got Johnny's. I see the mangoes. We got the Scotch bonnet. You know, I like me a good sweet and spicy sauce. I'm like, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I never even had pea shoot tendrils or pea shoots. Or it just looked like spinach. Okay. Okay. That's what we're gonna work with. Yeah. It looked like spinach. I love me a little greenery inside my dish, so we're gonna throw it in there. <laughs> it's that's pretty. Too. There you go. That's all, that's all I kept saying. I'm like, Juan, my goal is don't cut yourself, don't burn yourself, don't burn anything, don't break anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my goal when I'm in the kitchen, too, and when you come on the show and you're showing us stuff. Uh, so, uh, Amanda, she was mentioning yesterday, she always wants to know what these cooking shows, and I was curious, mm -hmm. too. Like, um, is water already boiling, boiling for you? Yes. Okay. okay. So, um, have they do the have, the and I thought so, too, and, you know, in the beginning like okay I have to make time for boiling water mm -hmm. so forth but no behind the scenes they do have boiling water okay. already ready for you the fryer is already okay. on okay. the oven so that saves free. time yeah it saves time mm -hmm. you got you got 20 minutes right <laughs> you got 20 minutes all right I mean it's a TV show yes but they at least they're not setting you up for failure yeah right. they want you to succeed in being creative mm -hmm. and, and, and time management yeah. mm -hmm. so they do certain things to help with that because when I seen that oven everything preheated I was like oh, Cool. Well, <laughs> Good to go. You know what? Uh, we can we can rock with this. We mm -hmm. don't have to worry about it. As mm -hmm. soon as you run it, turn the oven on, turn the fry on, do this. <laughs> right. They have that ready for you. That's good. Yes. That's good. <laughs> so you made it through the first round. Yes. And then what did you do the second round? Cool. The second round, again, when I popped that basket open and I saw red snapper, ain't Ooh. no way I'm not meant to Ooh. be here. Mm -hmm. It's just like as soon as I seen it, ain't no way that I'm not supposed to be on chop right now. Mm -hmm. Regar I said, regardless of the results, there is no way that this Caribbean gal is not supposed <laughs> to be on here. So in the set, before coming into the second round, I, again, had no clue what I was going to do. But I was like, just stick true to your Caribbean nature. Mm -hmm. I said, if I had red meat, I was going to make some, like, pot pie of some sort. If I see planting, it's going to be, like, really hearty because at the time of filming, it was cold. Uh -huh. ah, so I'm yes. like, we're gonna go pot pie. I said, if I get a seafood, I'm making fungi and fish. That's my, that was my game plan. There you go. Either one, that's what's gonna happen. Bear in mind, the last time I had fungi and fish, I was like seven or eight. <laughs> And Good plan. Yeah, yeah, right. I was just like, but I do, I've seen my mom do it because my mother did it. Like, I've watched her cook it, and I cooked it one time in my adult life. 
one time. <laughs> so technically, I don't even know if I made it right, but you went for it. I it went for it. Good. I went for it. They loved it. I was just like, but I it just remind me of my childhood, mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm going for it. But the maitake mushrooms in the basket, I didn't know what those were. Ooh, I don't either. <laughs> I have never had them. I like I eat mushrooms, but it yeah. wasn't something a part of growing up. So I'm like. But they look pretty, sure. so we're gonna use it as garnish. That was my oh. plan. Uh -huh. We're just gonna keep them in their natural state. We're not gonna break them down. We're just gonna elevate the flavor. Again, that's just in my head. Uh -huh. The um, long beans, growing up, we call it boro. Okay. okay. All right, and Granny always used to stew it up with like saw yes. fish or chicken or, so I'm like, okay. We see the red snapper, mm -hmm. see the boro. Okay, it's giving me fungi and fish, so I'm going with it. So it's a cornmeal base, think of fufu. Just like that, that little nice cornmeal ball, just seasoned. And then I made a ragu with the peppers, the onions. Ragu. Then I seasoned, um, I filleted the fish, and I seasoned it, seared it, nice right on top. And the maitake mushrooms, I literally toasted it in garlic oil mm. on each side, a little bit of salt and pepper. And to hear the judges say, like, it was cooked perfectly. Okay. Yes. I was like, I may not know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing. doing. Exactly, exactly. And yeah, and it was just, again, the, it was just my childhood. Nice. And how did things wrap up with the show for you? Um, what, are you talking about the second round, the last round? The last round. The last round. Um, I was surprised at myself that I, I, I executed a dessert as such mm -hmm. that I did. Um, and I wasn't, when I got, when got the results and I got chopped, I actually was not upset. Like, I didn't, I didn't feel like defeated. Uh -huh. Because again, one, I waited so long. Two, I, st I stuck true to who I was. Mm -hmm. I didn't try to like impress them with all, you know, fancy technique. I stuck true to myself and I showed that. And listening to the judges say, you know, they can taste the happiness, taste the, you know, mm -hmm. the cheerfulness mm -hmm. and, and the hominess from my food and my culture, that that was my goal. Yeah. So when I got chopped, I said, one, I made it to the end. Yes, you made I it, made to it the all round. the way through to the yes. end. Um, all these chefs, great chefs that I went up against, they're all working in fine dining restaurants. Mm -hmm. They've been doing it since young. I just kept saying, I, I got a food truck. <laughs> I just have a food truck. Did I you make good. But food. I but I and I but I made it to the end. Yes. And I was proud of myself. And I was nauseous the entire time because it was in my first trimester. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Just a little yeah, add-on. Just, just a little add-on to that. Yes. I was definitely like just nauseous the entire time. And So we know there's more to come from you. Yes. Uh, being on TV, more on Good Day, but yes. uh, we're hoping we to see have more. have her cook one of those dishes. Network. We, should, cut, we yes. should bring a basket next uh -huh. time. Oh, we'll be like, oh. Here yeah. you oh go. so now you're going to put me on WTOL chopped. <laughs> okay. Yes, on the spot. Yeah. That'd be I'll fun. take it. I'll take it. Obviously go and, and check out that episode, and we're so yes. excited for you. Thank you. I it's appreciate wonderful. it so much. Thank you. Round. Thanks for being here today. Oh, we can't pleasure. wait for you to cook next time we're here. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll be we let her off the hook this time. Yeah. Yeah, she got a chance to sit on the couch with us today. I got the comfy couch. Yes. I like this couch. This too. is yeah. very comfy. Thanks yeah. again for coming. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, we'll be back with more Good Day. Make sure you stay with us.